Hello again, folks. I'm King Blacktooth, and today I'm I've done the daily challenge for today. Um, I've already got diamond, but it was quite a a sort of intense one. So I'm actually going to go through and kind of go over what you kind of need to do. I know it's a bit irrelevant because it's only a daily, but it will probably transfer onto other ones as well. So this one is Land of the Livid Dead again, and but this time you have to collect 150 lums as fast as possible. Okay, so the first thing I did, because I play using my PS3 pad, um, connecting it up to my PC, um, I'm changing it from analog stick to D-pad. I found the analog stick always slips in my finger because there's a lot of ducking and jumping and uh, loads of stuff that requires me to keep moving it a lot and it started to slip which made it very difficult to play. Okay, so this is kind of what it will look like. Now this is not going to be the best sort of one but the general gist of the level and where you need to get to and some of the techniques you need to do are here. Okay, so we're nearly coming up to all the lums. When you got to this section, it's pretty easy after that. The, the hardest thing is the beginning. Now, these last five lums, you shouldn't continue after that, otherwise you're probably not going to beat the time. So you need at least 27, nearly 28 or something to get diamond, it seems. Okay, so Mr. Foppy, he's, he's always got diamond on everything. As soon as I look, he's already got diamond, which is really annoying. And he was like the ghost I was trailing a lot in this one. I've turned ghosts off because they're very distracting. But he was definitely the guy I was trailing all the time. It's very difficult. There'll be a lot of difficult things to do in the beginning. You know, you've got to jump, you've got to slide, you've got to make sure you don't hit anything. And the hardest thing is the middle, like there, for example. When I dropped off the chain, you have to stay on it for a bit to get a bit of momentum. So you're actually travelling forward when you you fly off it. And there's a couple of niggly bits. These are the kind of levels which I don't really like that much because, especially this one. I mean, I enjoyed it when I did it, but it's I prefer the long get as far as you can because you can go at your own speed. There's no tips and tricks really involved. It's just skill. And this obviously has skill, but you have to use all the little tips and tricks. And it really comes down to how many can you do how many little tricks and little shortcuts and stuff can you make which is fine but it's not what I prefer okay so you need to hold that slide as long as possible you know make sure you don't hit your head you want to keep your momentum up as much as possible on these down slopes you want to attack and then do a slide to get your momentum up you travel a lot faster if you attack and slide okay any up inclines you want to avoid try and jump over them and stuff like that Okay, so this next clip is one of my best times that I recorded. So I'm going to go over the techniques which are involved because they will transfer over to other challenges you might want to do. Okay, so the first one is the most obvious one you've probably seen a lot. It's an instant running attack to get your momentum up immediately. And then when you do a running attack into a slide, that's to avoid the rock. You still hit here, but you don't lose as much momentum. Okay, now when you land out of this, you want to do a running attack to get your momentum back up again. And when you're on the rope, stay on there for as long as possible so you keep your forward momentum. Otherwise, you will just drop vertically and not vertically and forward. So when you get up here, you want to get your momentum going again by doing a running attack and then go into a slide. And it really increases your speed and you want to keep it for as long as possible. So there I stopped it because I was coming up to the wall where I need to run. And then you can do this. Make sure you don't hit your head and stuff like that. That's pretty applicable for the entire, entire thing. Okay, do a running attack at the end so you can use the slide and the running attack's momentum on the slide. Always try and keep them for as long as possible, these slides, on any declines. So there we go. And then on this bit, you do a running slide to get some lums and then jump because you want to completely try and avoid that incline. And after this, on this particular level, it's mostly quite easy. Running attacks to get your momentum started and then just get the lums, jump over the inclines and then running jump over the incline on that one because it's a little bit bigger and then just do runs every time you land a jump so you can get the extra looms as fast as possible so hopefully that's um, cleared up some stuff I thought there were quite a few techniques running sliding you know that's why I changed my my pads because there was a lot of sliding now these top three people 
I imagine they're cheating or doing some sort of exploit anyway. So that's a bit of a shame. People are starting to get exploits or cheats on the PC version, which is obviously knocking down legitimate people. But Mr. Foppy has obviously got 27 seconds. Um, he was the one I was trailing, like I said. And he always seems to have diamond. And he's, I think, he said he was um, the first on the leaderboards for cups. And I checked and he was, but when I checked here, he, he'd actually got uh, bumped down a bit to second. But the fact is, these cups are obtained from story mode as well as multiplayer mode. So I haven't done most of the story mode, and I assume a lot of people haven't. But he's, he's got bumped down to second, but he's nearly there. So another if he gets diamond over this weekend, he might get bumped back up to first. But it's a pretty good achievement anyway. But I recently uh, accidentally deleted my data. So to speak. So I tried to click on new game, see if there was an additional profile, but there wasn't. And then when I press cancel, I actually I just shift it over to continue because that's normally where the cancel button is. So I've lost all my my diamonds and my score, but it doesn't matter. Thank you for watching.